yes, uh, Interact, as uh, you say, this uh, initiative here located in Graz, uh, which is uh, dealing with participatory theatre tools since 1999. Uh, mostly, we are not working so much uh, within the field of art itself, but we're working in different social and political fields. We're working in prisons, we're working in schools, we're working in the public areas, uh, we're working in parks. Um, but even we are working in the political, in the political uh, spheres. Um, today, I want to, to give you some ideas of the, we could say, strategies or tactics of legislative theatre. And I just want to, uh, uh, yes, it's, it's up there. What you see in the, in the background are some impressions of an uh, event that uh, took place not far from here, in the Styrian Regional Parliament. It's 500 meters from here. It was in 2008. And what you see here, uh, there are actors and actresses presenting a forum theater play about poverty. Uh, the actors and actresses themselves, they are experts on these issues, so they, know this, they are know, knowing these issues from their own lives. But the interesting situation there was that in the audience of this, repre uh, political representatives of the Styrian parliament, of uh, bureaucratic administratives uh, were watching, but not only watching, but were after the performance uh, discussing with the, with the actors, with the actresses about the proposals, about the political suggestions coming out of this, of this process, uh, of, this, uh, yeah, of, this, of this legislative theatre process. And they promised a lot, the politicians, after seeing this performance. It seemed that they really got somehow affected by it. And uh, some weeks later, it was in the autumn, so I don't know, three, three months later, there was really an interesting thing because there was a decision about uh, a, a certain law. It is, it, you don't know perhaps that in Austria, in this time, when you get a social service from the state uh, because you have not enough money to survive, uh, there is a special rule that you have to pay back this uh, money when you are again in the situation that you earn enough, or your parents or your children have to pay back this. So this is a really a, a big barrier for a lot of people in precarious situations to, uh, to go to this, uh, to go to this so social service. Uh, we have a non-take rate in this for 50, uh, 40, 30 percent. So, but after this performance, a long discussion, a 10 years political discussion was at least temporarily so, uh, solved, and they uh, changed this law. So there was no, for some, at least for some years, this, uh, this was changed after this uh, theatrical intervention into the parliament. Um, when I explain now legislative theatre for you and give at the end some examples from the, from the situations here, here in Graz, uh, we have not invented legislative theatre. I think when you were here in the, in the sessions before, uh, in, uh, around 11 uh, uh, in, in the morning, you know uh, that, uh, that this concept of, of theatre is mainly, uh, mainly connected to Augusto Boal. Augusto Boal, the founder with his colleagues of the so-called theatre of the press, political and aesthetical tools, uh, somehow to transform, to change uh, realities. Uh, you can see here, there's this, this tree of the field of the oppressed. I think it is a process uh, of about 30, 40 years that a lot of uh, theater methodologies were created by Augusto and his members, but at the same time spread over the, uh, over the whole world. And you see here, uh, right in the top on this tree, there's legislative theater. And uh, this was found in a very specific situation uh, uh, when Boal was, interesting, for four years a real politician. He was elected, he got elected to the city council of Rio de Janeiro. Um, to understand this concept, it would be good uh, to be clear about uh, one, the main, the main element of it is forum theatre. In the morning session you get some ideas about of it, so I don't know if you're familiar with it or, 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 or not. I think what is very important is that it's a kind of interactive theatre where the audience can take part at the performances, um, at, given, at somehow given situations, to try out different, uh, try out different, uh, different actions. And it's a, yeah, it's a democratic tool at the same time, it's a, dial a tool of dialogue because everyone has the right to, uh, to say and to intervene. 
There are some, um, in, in, a, in a forum theater uh, performance, there are some key elements, I would say. At, this, at the one side is the play. The play, normally they're following diff, uh, a certain dramaturgy, although the styles in the world, and we can say the world, because in 2009 there was the World Forum Theatre Festival here in Graz, uh, they differ, but there are some main dramaturgy rules. For example, that normally Forum Theatre plays, even if they're made in different aesthetic styles, they're not coming to a, to a, to a good end. They, they are, uh, they are somehow they are go, uh, coming to a, a bad ending, to a not satisfying uh, solution. Uh, then we have an, an, an another uh, uh, element, the joker, the so-called jo uh, joker, is the, is, the, is the person who somehow facilitates the process, the interaction between the audience uh, and what is, what is going here on stage. Because especially here, I would say in Austrian Europe, people are not very used to, the, the normally they like to consume art or the theater, so, but they are not so much, you could see it even before, uh, not so used. So the facilitator, is, uh, the, the joker is a, a, a person who somehow uh, tries to support this process. And at the same time, what is the crucial point, or the very important point, is the participation of the audience. So they can say when the, the play uh, is, 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 is played for a second time or a third time, they yell stop and can say, at this point, I have an idea how I want, I like to change the situation. So you can see this is the same time when they enter the stage. On the one side, it's a kind of a dramatic action. But at the same time, it's, it's, it's normally it's a social, it's a political action. So this, I think these things uh, have to be fought together. When we think now about the legislative theatre, um, it, is, it, is it is the way that after, for, uh, from every forum theatre sessions, you collect all the, all the ideas, the suggestions of the audience, all the discussions, and somehow you made a, you made a, you discuss this with the with, you discuss this with the with the the actors the actresses you discuss this with other people affected by this by the same social problem or conflict, and then normally it comes out to some main ideas some things some proposals political proposals where we say where the group says this is something we want to change and this happened in Rio, and in this time only to make a little bit a, 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 a step back. Uh, the, the strategy or the structure there was very interesting because Boal was elected. So he has, uh, like here in Austria, he has a political office and he could employ a lot of people, I think 25, and, f and you know, as secretaries, as lawyers, as, as, as people who helped him for his, for his work. Uh, but he uh, employed, I think, 15 or 20 theater animators. So I think it was the first and the only one, <laughs> uh, the only time uh, uh, that really our theater animators, theater artists, is very employed by the state of or by the city of, of Rio de Janeiro, and these theater animators they somehow they spread out over over in different parts of Rio, in favelas. They come in contact with different organizations, and by the years they somehow I think they had, they had about 35 forum theater groups. Under their, uh, they, they were facilitating about uh, 35 to 40 forum theater groups. These groups normally consisting on uh, consisting of people who were really concerned by a certain problem. So they had, for example, groups with street children. They had, they had uh, uh, groups uh, consisting of black students. They had uh, groups uh, consisting of, of disabled people. Yeah? This uh, group uh, were somehow supported to make their plays about their main problems, about their situations. These plays were performed, like Forum Theatre, and out of all these suggestions, um, Boal then, it's very simply now how I'm telling this, yeah? <laughs> only to make this clear, then had a discussion with, the, uh, with, his, uh, with his colleagues who are, uh, who are the lawyers, yeah? and, and, this, and then they find out, if you really want to follow uh, this proposal coming directly from the population, do we need to change a law, do we need to abolish a law, or do we, do we need how, uh, to modify a law? So what they try out, and it's somehow in the structure, you have here on the right side the external cabinet of his cabinet. So they were the theater animators. And on the other side, you have the internal cabinet. Here you have the legal and parliamentary business, all, all this. And in this metabolizing cell, these things somehow uh, were brought, uh, brought together. 
And during the period Boal was part of the parliament in Rio, they had, I think, 45 proposals for new laws, and all these laws coming directly out of this interactive participatory process uh, with, the, with different groups of the population. And about, uh, I think, uh, 14 of these laws were promulgated into, into, the, into, yeah, into the, in the, the parliamentary process. If you want to know more about the laws and all this, I can recommend you this legislative theater book, uh, Rutledge, uh, from, uh, from Augusto. Okay, let's coming back uh, there to, to, um, to, to Austria somehow. Um, yes, here, for example, only a, a map about the, 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 the many of the groups existing. You cannot see them now, but it, at least to get an, an, an idea, here's a list of all the, of all the communities and, and, and they worked with there. Um, after the, uh, the period uh, Boal was part of the parliament, it has become a little bit harder for legislative theater because if you don't have some uh, authority within the parliament, it's, it's uh, sometimes not so easy to really to, to join these political spheres. But nevertheless, uh, this concept of theater also spread over a very uh, lot of parts in the world. And we have examples in, in Canada, in the United Kingdom, in Wales, in Italy, in France, in Spain, in, uh, of, of, of different, of different uh, tries to do that. So do we here in, in Austria, in Graz, uh, we also, we are not elected, okay? We are not part of the political system, but one of our targets when we use legislative theater is somehow to intervene uh, into this sphere. Uh, we are not only focusing on, lab, on laws, but what we want to do is to involve a lot of uh, uh, people in a political discourse using this, uh, this artistic methodology. Um, and, and therefore, it's, it's very important for us to create using these this methods, different situations of dialogue. Dialogue within the groups and the communities. You know, um, this is an interesting thing, perhaps. When this concept comes from Rio de Janeiro, or from Brazil mostly, there are the people somehow, even like we heard in about the situation after, they're like more connected. They feel as a part of a community. Even if they feel uh, as a part of the oppressed community, they say, we are part of the resistance movement. You will not find these uh, communities very much here in, in Austria or in, in even in Europe. So somehow our work has to do bring people together, or if they want to, yeah, to, um, to, to use artistic uh, tools that they start a dialogue. And this is somehow uh, what is the, is the starting point to create a community. Okay, uh, so we create uh, dialogues within the communities, we create dialogues from the community to the public, and from the communities uh, to the uh, decision makers. Some little examples of, of our work, uh, uh, legislative theatre work, we're doing other work as well, but this was our first legislative theater work uh, with about the issue of homelessness in Graz. Although homelessness is not very much visible here in Graz, uh, because there are a lot of institutions who, at least where you can sleep during the night, there are a lot of uh, problems and issues around, this, around these problems. And what you can see here, not in a very good, <laughs> yeah, not very sharp way, uh, is uh, some images of this project. Only one little story about the image here on the right side, where some people of Graz know this. This is from the city hall, at the city hall in Graz. The last uh, one of the performances took place th there, and the politician and the bureaucracies were sitting in the audience. And the group, the homeless people themselves, they were presenting after the performance their political proposals from the uh, from the yeah from the side of this of, of this space where normally the major of Graz and all the others politici uh, politicians are sitting uh, talking and decide uh, about the about the homeless people. So at least for some moments we could uh, we could at least in a symbolic way uh, uh, reverse uh, somehow change the situation. A completely different project, zusammenspiel. Let's say something like playing together. There are some districts, areas here in Graz, where there's not much uh, playgrounds for the, for the young children. And especially in some, um, uh, in, in some districts of Graz, where a lot of people from different cultures uh, somehow have to live together. And a lot of, okay, this brings a lot of different uh, conflicts. What we, do, what we were doing there, 
uh, that we were making a legislative theatre project with a, a group of young people around the playground area, little playground area, where there were always a lot of, a lot of different, different fights between them. Because not they don't like each other, but because the structure was not given for them, because the, 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 spa the space was uh, so much limited. Um, at the end of this, of this project, what you can see here, here's one, uh, uh, one of the, of the uh, representatives of the city council in Graz. At least here, they are uh, young people, they are a representative from different youth organizations. There is the, the man responsible for this district. And so we really, after the performance again, we had the discussions about the proposals. And there was, a, it, again here, we had a little, it seems for us here, perhaps, uh, deal, uh, talking about the capitalism and how to change it, not a very big thing. But again here, there was a, ten year, a year's discussion that schools uh, should open their playgrounds, because they have normally a lot of, 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 of playgrounds. Uh, and after these performances, there were some decisions made exactly in this direction. That some of the schools, uh, that they find out some ideas and projects that they offer the playgrounds, that at least there are more play playgrounds for the young kids there. Okay, and, uh, at, uh, two other uh, projects to, to, to end up here. Here only some, um, uh, some images of a project we are doing now, which is called the Human Right to Work. It's a, a project where the actors, actresses are all uh, uh, they are migrants, and they are telling their stories how hard is how hard it is for them to somehow to find a place in the in the work market, to find a job, to, to uh, support it. They, you know, they, they they have to face a lot of obstacles of discrimination, of racism, and so on. And this. Forum Theatre Play, now we had a lot of performances, again, collecting, collecting political proposals to change the situation. And this play will be performed in the, again in the student parliament uh, in November. I think in the, I don't know, exactly, I think the 11th of November. Uh, to end up, and I see here 70 minutes, it's not that bad. <laughs> so there could be some, um, some uh, place for discussions as well. I want to, uh, uh, to go back to the to examples from the beginning when I were, uh, was telling you about the, the, the performance in the in the student parliament of this uh, this group playing about the poverty issue. Uh, this is, I think, is in the I would say it's it's the it's the biggest project we did in the last years uh, on different on, on different levels, and perhaps. I will be, uh, be, be, more, be a bit more precise now that you give, get more ideas about the element, of, about the tactics uh, we are using when you're doing such a product, uh, pr project. Uh, the principal goal was that, um, that somehow by this project the situation of people experience, experiencing poverty should somehow, somehow improve by this uh, 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 project. And what we want to try out is often different spaces for so social and political uh, participation, and, at the, and again create ideas of how to face, how to fight poverty, how to prevent uh, poverty in a real dialogue uh, situation. Um, and what is very important in this project, people experiencing Sing poverty should be encouraged and inspired to express their experiences and perspectives in the create, creative and socializing process and get them sil, themselves involved in a political process. So this is something seems uh, sounds very easily here, but especially people who are experiencing poverty in, the, in, a, in, a, in a country like Austria, normally they get very isolated. Normally they don't think about to engage themselves in a political way. This is very far, you know, this gap is here are the people deciding about social policy, on the other side, the people who are experiencing poverty. So somehow we tried at least a bit to bring these realities, uh, uh, these realities together. One of our strategies has to do when we're doing such a, a project, there are months, sometimes years of preparation, especially of networking. Networking with a lot of uh, organizations, uh, with trade unions, with, with, with even the, the uh, bureaucratic system just before we start the project. So to bring people together who somehow related to this, uh, to this, to this, to this issue. What you can see here, 
uh, when we're doing such, uh, such, such a long-term project, we're normally also doing some actions in, the, in street, theater, uh, street theater actions around here, around this, uh, this, uh, this, this issue of poverty. We did four different interventions. You can see especially the, the one on the right side, which was then in, the, in, the, in a, a big headline in one of the uh, national newspapers here, where the man sitting on the golden horse and uh, here's where who has the gold can somehow can make the rules. And it was really performed like that. So this golden horse was somehow it was pushed by, by, by the workers, by the women who at the same time have to care on the children. And it was very funny, the politician, there was also politicians who speak all the time to the people in the town. But uh, she was somehow linked to this golden horse. She could not really move uh, very uh, freely. So we, uh, this, this golden horse was only some tool to make the, the people more and more somehow more aware on this issue. Parallel to this, we start to, to work on the, on the forum theatre production, which means um, that uh, in first in workshop situations, you bring together people experiencing this issue, poverty, from their, from their real life, and to bring them somehow in contact with this creative, with these theatre tools. So then it's a kind of a collective research uh, process uh, starts that the people somehow find out from themselves what are really the main issues for us, what are really our main desires, where do we really think, what, what should a forum theatre play about this issue should contain. And it's an interesting thing, because on the other side, we as facilitators or as directors, we somehow we have to, to, to balance the ideas here from the, from the community to, this, to the dramaturgy of this, of this forum theatre play. Here you have some, some uh, impressions of workshop situations uh, there. And then we, have, we had with this project a lot of interactive uh, performances where the, where the uh, people could intervene into the situation of the family, uh, which was shown there. Uh, we had, during these performances, reflections, discussions, and we collected all the interventions and suggestions. Um, and then, after this process, all the time, we are somehow uh, um, thinking about together with, with the people affected by poverty, but also with some friends, colleagues, experts about the proposals. And then, somehow, you see here, when they are discussed, uh, then there are different, different, um, different forms of transfer then start. Not then start. Sometimes it's not the, you know, it's not the logical or uh, uh, sequence, but sometimes parallel transfer to personal life of the people, transfer to the group, to the social life, and transfer to the administrative political system. Um, only to, at, uh, to end, um, some results, um, perhaps this, that in the meantime, in, in, in this project, we had uh, around 50 performances, and some thousands of people took part at these performances. Uh, and a lot of intervention solutions coming out of the process. And we had, as I told you at the beginning, we had these performances in the Syrian parliament, only also in the city council of Graz, and in 2010, a performance in the, in the Austrian parliament. Um, so, uh, um, bring this issue, or this, this perspective of the issue, to the political sphere, and what we can say now, because for us also legislative theatre is a kind of a work in progress here, what we somehow could say that by doing this, we could create a temporary dialogue. You know, when I said before, the gap is very big between people experiencing, for example, poverty at the one side and the political system on the other side. So at least in this situation, it was very interesting uh, that we could bring this, uh, this, this, these two worlds somehow together using, using this, this uh, concept of, 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 of theater. And it was interesting because the politicians who take part in these performances, they somehow, at least for these moments when they are there, they have to change their, at least their, their Sprech, I don't know the English word for it, so they have to change their way they are talking about these issues normally. So somehow we could uh, all the time see that, 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 that there's a little change of the per perspective and this could open some, uh, some dialogues. Although sometimes it's, you need 
I can say it's not that easy. You need a lot of other strategies and other tactics that this dialogue really then goes on. But it can, also it can continue, even though the political system, after such a performance, very often forget about. So you have uh, you go for it using different uh, tactics, even what we <laughs> heard here, uh, that you don't lose that the, that you don't lose this kind of, of contact into this into this into this system. Okay, thank you. I think um, uh, there is another in the background. You see some impressions of this of this uh, performance in the parliament. You know, not very uh, common things, uh, movements, but, uh, which, which were, uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there is this only one question we still have time for now, because it's in one minute, uh, the tactic talks go on, or we continue in the continuity room is there one question? Florian? How you choose the projects? Because uh, how, we choose how the you choose the topics that you, you focus on? So do, they, do you look for them? Do people come to you? And the other thing is, so I think it's also a question of what can you do and what can you not do? What is too big a problem? What yes. is too small a problem? So yeah. maybe you can say something Some, about that. Sometimes it's, it's for us so obvious to choose an issue. <laughs> So I cannot see because sometimes it's really an issue which is really just there, which is in a uh, very, 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 where we as a group feel that, that there is a necessity to do something. At the other side, uh, because we are working uh, with different communities, uh, for, have been working for several years, more and more you, you get the feeling about <laughs> Uh, what could be a next issue. So sometimes an issue is a follow-up of a project we did, uh, we did before. Um, and even you're right, some issues are somehow too big. And uh, when you see, for example, here, this is one product of a, of, of this, of a project full of political proposals. And we see that the politicians, for them, it's not good that they have too many proposals. Because then they pick up some and they say, oh, we, just, we were just doing this. So this is always a, a, yeah, a balancing thing. Yeah? So to make it not too complex, uh, but at the same time, not too sub, uh, superficial. But mm -hmm. don't you have the feeling that sometimes also the politicians might think, although they are moved yes. by topics, mm -hmm. as politicians can be moved, yes, they are. Uh, that they just think, let them play, so yes. they have a kind of therapy, yes. and yeah. they, in a, in a kind of amateur theater situation, they can uh, react, and then the problem is it's going on. Going on. Uh, this is something what we have to face. Uh, we were never, it, I think in, in, in our experience, it, this, it was never called a therapy, therapy situation. I would say perhaps sometimes more a therapy situation for the politicians uh, themselves, <laughs> not for the, for, the actors, uh, for the actors. So we have to face this, and somehow uh, there is always, what I say before, we have to go for it. <laughs> uh, only one little example. After this performance in the Syrian parliament, the politicians who were very affected uh, and, and empathetic about what they have seen, they promised a lot what they want to do in autumn. And then we find out that they're not very active about this. <laughs> okay, but what we did then, we invited them to, the, to a cinema, the Rechbauer Kino, it's a, it's a little uh, independent cinema here in Graz, more or less independent cinema in Graz, and they come again to these discussions. And we were showing them our, a documentary film about the performance in the Syrian parliament. And on this, on, this, on this film, there were again their speeches and their promises. And this is very interesting because they saw themselves first talking what they, on, the, on, the, on the screen and then again talking with us. So this was important for next step and for next step. So we, you always need other, other, as I said, other tactics as well. But it could be this could be something like a door keep a door uh, opener. Okay, so if there are, I will be here. The more whole discussions afternoon. or questions mm -hmm. uh, on this topic, the continuity room. We have okay. to go on. Thank and you. And now I have something again too. <laughs>